But we are going to begin today with a story that began nearly a year ago when a young boy was found alone on a porch in Buffalo. His parents and a family friend were all found dead. Today, the U.S. attorney for Western New York gave an update on that case, and we learned that two men are now accused of killing the three of them. Two on your sides, Dave McKinley was there and has the latest developments. Well, with these charges, prosecutors believe they have now put a bow on their nearly year-long effort to tie up a series of heinous and unforgettable crimes. The facts are truly chilling. And there was no mercy shown to anyone that September night. It began last September with the discovery of a toddler clad only in a diaper on the porch of a home on Buffalo's west side. And then the subsequent discovery of two bodies, which turned out to be those of his parents in a burned out van about a mile away. And then the discovery of human remains, which turned out to be a friend of those parents in a fire pit behind a home on Box Avenue. Just short of a year later, two of several defendants already charged in a drug conspiracy are now accused of robbing the victims who came here from Florida of their drugs and killing them. Both 47-year-old Jerry Cobb and 49-year-old DeAndre Wilson also potentially face the death penalty for murder while engaged in a narcotics conspiracy, although no decision has been made on that. I can tell you that we've had consultations with the committee uh, within this office as recently as yesterday. So. Um, that, that process, though, ultimately, that decision is ultimately up to the attorney general. It was also revealed today that lawmen believe that none of the victims were killed at the locations where their remains were found. We'll have more about that and what else we've learned new about this case today coming up at 5 and 6. In downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.